Hi there, it's Ben. I'm in the Order of St. Joseph, which is a holy order of the Summit Lighthouse in Church Universal and Triumphant. And, um, of course, St. Joseph was an embodiment of Germain. So, um, Germain had Mother establish Order of St. Joseph uh, through a dictation on July 4th, 1986. This is just background information. Some of you might, be al al might already be aware. But I wanted to make an, a recording um, on January 29th, 2014, to sort of touch base with everybody um, within the organization, Church Universal and Triumphant, and the Summit Lighthouse, so that you folks could have access to what it is that I'm, I've been working on, and so that we can perhaps collaborate um, to try to uh, find ways uh, for Holy Orders to become better integrated um, at King Arthur's Court. I'd like to see more of my effort um, materialized from a Royal Teton retreat proper. Um, my goal is to move closer to Montana so that we can uh, work together um, in person and uh, take uh, the Holy Orders, um, and there are nine of them, I believe, um, to the next practical level and, and to ensure that um, they reach the degree of spiritual profundity um, that they were intended uh, to reach. Um, so I run Order of St. Joseph on Facebook. Holyorders.org, which is a Summit Lighthouse website, was basically not attended when I found it. Um, it hadn't been utilized for probably two or three years, I think, um, when I uh, took a look at it last. And I tried to um, reinvigorate it. A lot of the links were broken and the mailing list wasn't working properly. So it was difficult uh, to use it for much of anything, although I did manage to post some information there. Um, I'm a witness to uh, criminal activity uh, in Maine uh, with respect to uh, organized crime that's occurring within the Veterans Administration and among corrupt uh, physicians and psychiatrists operating. Um, Togus, which is a psychiatric town, if you can in, in fathom such a monstrosity, um, within Maine, um, and is, you know, very much akin to uh, some of the early phases of the concentration camps when they started uh, in Nazi Germany. They started organizing Jews um, in a particular fashion by right within German town borders. Um, before have, carting them away, essentially um, the um, th there were towns that were developed to contain Jews that were the way the Germans had it set up. And th this is historical. You can look it up on the internet, and it's in the history books. The Germans had it set up so that there was a certain amount of autonomy initially, um, and uh, and very sadly, and I'm a witness to it, I also had relatives who worked at the Veterans Administration for a number of years. Um, they're, you know, authorizing all sorts of uh, anti-constitutional, unconstitutional abuses. In any event, I posted um, on, with respect to that, it's a very dangerous situation. Mother has relayed, you know, a lot of information uh, to me in support of my effort to stop psychiatric abuse through the United Nations. And I'm attempting to weigh in on the treaty, which is the UN's uh, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. The acronym is CRPD. Um, because I've had to sue uh, to try to recover uh, money that was illegally taken away from me after I started uh, disclosing criminal activity in Maine, organized crime, you know, operated by the government in Maine. Um, I'm at a, you know, I'm, uh, I'm at a, I'm disadvantaged uh, along my path to ensure that the United Nations has the right information. So uh, what I try to do uh, on a daily basis on my own behalf, also on behalf of other psychiatric abuse survivors, on behalf of people who are witness, uh, witnesses to criminal activity uh, at the Veterans Administration, um, with respect to how Obamacare is being very badly mishandled by uh, the Supreme Court of the United States and by the President of the United States and how it endangers people to force them to participate in health care. 
uh, I attempt to network with people over the internet. So, uh, if you want to be in touch with me about either about these important issues, truly, what I'm looking for is a is a lawyer who would be able to, or a church official, a CUT official, a TSL official. I would prefer that assistance uh, originate at the church because I think it would, it would set a really astounding precedent um, uh, for us to have been able to say, well. Our, our church person who is an, a world expert on torture was being discriminated against and being subjected to very bad uh, government originating fraud and because he wasn't getting the help that he received uh, the United Nations wasn't able to push forward with their anti-torture efforts with just a little bit of effort uh, to relocate me to safety to reinstate my driver's license my driver's license was criminally terminated by uh, the Department of Motor Vehicles after I started reporting criminal activity that was originating um, at a local police station. Um, I don't have any sort of substantive criminal record, but I've been the victim of uh, retaliation for a very long time after filing lawsuits. Um, so my, my attempt at initially is to try to interact with Church Universal and Triumphant. Um, the order is dedicated to distributing information about the teachings of Germain I am activity, violet flame activity. Um, I feel that, you know, all the holy orders ought to have um, the rest of the world in mind. And we ought to be protecting our own interests. We ought to be protecting the interests of people who can't protect themselves. Um, and psychiatric abuse of this country is it's really running rampant. Um, if the Supreme Court of the United States and the U.S. District Courts and the State Courts in the state of Maine, you know, uh, refuse to assist me as a victim of crime, then there's a serious problem. Additionally, uh, all these efforts to save people overseas and to save uh, our own constitution, and unfortunately our politicians aren't doing it for us, so in order to enforce the constitution, we actually have had to enlist help from the United Nations. Well, to, s to preserve our freedoms, um, it's going to take people with... Uh, knowledge and who have the right sort of momentum i'm one of those people um but we're, we're going to have to start uh providing uh consulting services to the united nations because i don't believe that without the proper re resolution of my legal action which is black house versus tlc properties uh that was filed in the first district of the united states uh, district court without proper resolution of my action we're not going to be able to convince the White House to do anything uh, when March comes. The reason that March 2014 is significant is that the United Nations uh, has, in pursuing these treaties and pursuing these paths with the different countries and trying to develop, uh, you know, coalitional objectives with the different countries, uh, the United Nations has decided to conduct what it calls a UPR, a Universal Periodic Review. Um, Human so Rights Review. Um, th that's what uh, we're out to achieve. And again, uh, remember that Mother worked for the UN, right? Um, so that's something that Mother and I have in common, and I feel very strongly about it. I have my own political opinions. Um, I suppose are political opinions. I feel that the church ought to be going in a certain direction, and I feel that the church ought to be involved in governmental decision making, which is part of why I am. Uh, part of the Washington DC group on uh, Facebook um, and uh, in talking to people in France our brethren uh, for instance in Paris who are Scientologists who are very concerned about psychiatric abuse and the erosion of rights um, overseas and in, and in France uh, we were having a conversation about how it's important not to lose track of uh, what actions mean and and what we're actually accomplishing as opposed to how we're discussing uh, what goes on in the world what's actually occurring in the world right now and how can we change it another thing that I do that I'm seeking assistance for for uh, another uh, activity I pursue or uh, philanthropic pursuit of mine is to do what I call direct advocacy for people overseas who are being harassed by their governments who are being accused of being mentally ill um, one uh, case on which I'm working uh, involves a young man who has um, religious opinions and perspectives that are not so much different from yours and mine, and he's being treated 
uh, very badly by the um, repressive pro-medical authoritarian government in uh, Victoria and it's a dangerous situation um, so I'm looking to get assistance from the church uh, financial assistance obviously but practical assistance you know any assistance that is practical in nature that would enable me to you know maintain better computer equipment be able to communicate be able to afford to communicate um, uh, be relocated to a safe environment and uh, with respect to my current situation uh, people at CUT and TSL can read uh, that action black house versus TLC properties uh, which is available on Scribd. My last name is hyphenated. It's Turner Blackhouse, uh, and uh, the 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 action was filed as Blackhouse versus TLC Properties. You can take a look at that. I don't expect that we would resolve all of it um, in advance of uh, doing what it is that we have to do through the UN in in March and so forth. But it might be that. Um, some of the CUT TSL uh, lawyers or church leaders have. Uh, some creative ideas um, so that is I, I and I devote all of this to the teaching and and the betterment of the planet and to the legacy of Mark and Mother um, I am in the process also of uh, doing of doing a video recording of uh, a recitation of the rosary and I want to codify the rosary for use by uh, CUT and TSL people in uh, m mother's holy orders so I will be taking a look at that it's been enormously interesting and a real eye-opener to be conversing with the Holy Mother um, with, with respect to that and looking at some of the um, anecdotal information historical information uh, spiritual information coming out of Fatima uh, at this at this juncture and um, I'm also taking a look at you know trying to monitor what's going on in Rome um, at the Vatican to the best of my capability additionally and uh, certainly am open to suggestions I have posted um, the teaching what I feel is the um, the Sanatana Dharma as it's being revealed right now um, I am of the opinion that uh, obviously mother was um, the messenger um, and I do have uh, a dedication and I'm oriented towards preserving uh, her teaching um, and also enriching it when I can by providing uh, additional information and supporting information and the masters are, are also instructing me to attempt to uh, in addition to discussing the teaching as mother revealed it to us uh, adding some information uh, through what they call the blue lotus dispensation which is not at all contradictory uh, to mother's messengership um, but is an expansion of that mother in fact in some of the teachings some of the teachings will arrive uh, to me before I see them revealed uh, through uh, Guru Ma uh, so she has uh, a handle on um, a lot of the information uh, additionally interestingly so um, that's something for us to discuss as well and on some of my recordings I do uh, have relay information from the masters with respect to how a uh, hierarchy is deciding to represent uh, the status of certain people or certain entities certain jivas that were previously not um, considered to be ascended masters um, and a lot of additional information you can look that up and uh, I would be happy to share whatever I can with anybody there at CUT and TSL so I offer this humbly and I hope that people with connections are able to bear me in mind the United Nations in mind and the United Nations does need direction it uh, has a lot of information it has a lot of good attorneys working there who are willing to stand up with what how they present reality and the necessity um, 
ne various forms of necessity with respect to human rights enforcement. And it, it contradicts, obviously, what's going on in the White House, right? Because the president is just making horrible decisions with respect to very dangerous institutions, including mental hospitals, uh, the nationalization of health care in the context of uh, habeas corpus violations, and all of these really terrible uh, psychiatric-laden practices that are infesting our courts right now and that sort of thing. The United Nations is aware that there's a problem, but because I have been shut out, and effectively because spiritual people are being shut out of this conversation, including Church Universal and Triumphant, um, it's going to have a hard time to do what it is that it needs to do in March, which is to convince the White House that it has a serious problem. The country right now has a serious problem with respect to human rights. So I'm eager uh, to have an opportunity to fly down to Washington if necessary, to interact with the UN, to take over um, certain components of uh, human rights enforcement, um, you know, as it needs to be executed by the UN and other organizations. There are some very interesting um, uh, human rights oriented religious people in places like India, the Isha Foundation, other organizations run by gurus who care and are concerned. They have consulting status at the United Nations. If I had a little bit of support, I could bring uh, Church Universal and Triumphant into the fold of that, and we would be able to come to the table and engage the dialogue directly with world leaders um, so that our opinion and our concerns are expressed. Um, and I feel that that's important, and I, I'm certainly willing to take the lead. It's that I would need a little bit of preliminary support in order to do that. So um, let's collaborate. If anybody's necessary, I'm always available. I'm always available for, you know, to assist with prayer, um, to uh, share information, to share the teaching, uh, to give links and references if people are just really interested in learning more. I know that it helps a lot of people to, um, you know, get by the what can be the hellfire of daily life, unfortunately, still for a lot of us in this particular round, um, to reach out and to have access to knowledge or interesting new forms of information and that sort of thing. I'm always here to share information and to be um, a source of prayer and spiritual support absolutely um, and at any point if anybody at the church feels that the church uh, needs to expand I feel that mother uh, endorses my efforts entirely and um, seeks to have me supported more um, in a more organized fashion I suppose um, including uh, in a more um, uh, in including by uh, Church Universal and Triumphant and uh, TSL. Um, you know, I'm here to collaborate with respect to that and uh, certainly want to bring my perspective as a spiritual uh, person, and as a brother, um, and as a, you know, yogi and scribe, amanuensis and so forth, uh, to um, the Washington debate. So please keep me in mind. So we have the political effort, which is actually is really an urgent human rights effort at this juncture um, with a timeline. And we have also um, my desire to preserve and maintain and to work directly for the church, truly to support the teachings of Mark and Mother, uh, to maintain archives as Germaine wanted us to and wants us to do. Um, and uh, so, uh, and to find better integration between holy orders, which right now um, is uh, not uh, languishing, certainly. I, I don't think that we're uh, going away anytime soon, but we really do need um, uh, the church behind us fully at this point, and particularly with all this opportunity that actually is really exciting. Um, it's that uh, I'm still battling the corrupt courts in Maine and I'm doing it without any sort of help from an attorney of record and that sort of thing. So it's an uphill battle until the church gets behind holy orders 100% and starts to take a stand. That's what I'm, I'm here for. And if anybody has any um, 
you know, as I said, creative ideas with respect to how to do that, please feel free to be in touch with me. Um, the, my uh, email address, you can reach me at Ben Turner, Benjamin Turner, okay, is my last name, 214 at gmail.com, Ben Turner 214 at gmail.com. Um, and uh, my telephone number, 207 891 3400. It's my cell phone uh, for as long as it holds out. Unfortunately, it's one of those horrible uh, government cell phones that uh, doesn't work very well under most circumstances. <laughs> so, um, but I'm available and I uh, wanted, wanted to, to put it out there that I, I'm available to um, help the church help the world, essentially. Help the church help the United States understand uh, where it's failing and. Uh, where we need to uh, make some emergent changes. Uh, and uh, that's that for now. I'm going to, and please, please join me at Order of St. Joseph and like the page. There's a donation apparatus as well um, that links to a site that I built called Stop Obamacare Now. Clear, clearly, I'm opposed to nationalizing health care if they're torturing people in the U.S. mental hospitals, right? Um, and that has some some traffic and um you know i would you know i th th those funds would be used to support the order essentially um it's there all the funds go to me directly and are administered by me um but you can donate there um but even if you don't or can't donate um certainly join me at order of saint joseph on facebook and also i run ascended master paul the venetian on facebook which is where you will find um the uh, Dharma, the teaching as it's uh, delivered to me, my handling of uh, the teachings of Mother and Mark and so forth. Um, and uh, those two sites are essentially the, the sites that contain the religious information, but you can, you can go to Stop Obamacare Now on Facebook directly, uh, and I also have links to uh, that uh, donation apparatus. I believe it's on both of those religious sites uh, so I hope to hear from some of you or all of you and many many blessings to everybody connected to um, uh, Church Universal and Triumphant and I will uh, I am around and I'm not going anywhere <laughs> so uh, look me up okay take care and namaste peace bye